So, I bought an MDF game board. Three sets with two sections each. And today I'm going to assemble and paint them. Yeah, if you want to build a game board, you could use XPS foam, but I didn't really felt like building, so I just wanted to glue some MDF together because it's like Lego in some kind, and I like Lego. As you can see here, I had to cut up some pieces to make them fit together, which I had expected. Some flaws of this game board are that the pieces aren't really rectangular or squared. And on some parts, as you can see here, they completely did not cut in particular detail lines. And yeah, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed I wouldn't pay 13 euros again for two of these sections, but overall it's a good game board. So I wanted to test out some different street making methods and because of that I made a test piece. And in the end I didn't went with this sandpaper method but I just put on some paint, put sand over it and then painted it again. So these MDF pieces are really thin, they're like 3mm thick and they might warp. And this is why I painted them from both the underside and the top side, so they just don't warp. Yeah, just don't don't put paint directly onto your projects. Just just use a color palette or something. I don't know. By the way, I'm using Gesso because Nob makes used it, and uh, yeah, link for you in the top right corner to his videos. Yeah, here you can see me doing the streets in the paint sand paint method that I described earlier. I also stippled some of the texture on, so I don't get any brush strokes. Yeah, I, I used filler for its intended purpose, just filling some holes with it. And also, of course, putting on some texture with it. So 
So now I'm painting all of the game ball sections with the gray gesso and I'm trying to put brush strokes in any directions and I'm also using a sponge to give it more texture. So the streets get a dark gray color, a bit like asphalt or something. And yeah, here you can see me put on wash without testing it before and it turns out way too dark and I should have listened to my own tips, but I'm stupid and I didn't. Yeah, this is why you test, test your wash before, because this is way too dark. So now I'm highlighting some manhole covers with metallics. Um, I started using masking tape to mask them out, but then I used an improvised template because it's cheaper. Just some paper with a corner cut out of it. And here you can see me using a sponge to put on some rust onto the manhole covers. And I also use a sponge and sponge on some light brown tones onto some filler piles. Here I'm using two grey tones for dry brushing to achieve some more depth. And now I'm putting on some orange wash for rust and some light brown wash just to, to give the grey some more color variations here and there. And yes, this is the finished game ball. Uh, I hope you liked the video, um, give it a thumbs up please, um, yeah, subscribe if you want to, I'm putting out some videos sometimes in some months again, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, goodbye.